Today I'm doing an update video on my 10 pound survival kit. Recently I did an update video on the survival tin and this other small survival kit. This one I take along with me whenever I go on trips especially with other people and their vehicles. So first off on the outside I have some chain and clips. These carabiner or D style rings. Also have a thermometer. I have a small stainless steel flask, 1.5 ounces. And I also have a stainless steel mug. Normally during the summer I have a water bottle, but during the winter I carry this mug. I just find it easier to melt snow in here. I can also make hot chocolate, tea, soup very quickly. And the strap is just an old leather belt. The thing I like about this is anything with a belt loop on it. I can attach it and carry more items if I want to. So now I'm going to open it up. This bag right here is a James W. Woods canvas bag. It was made in 1940. So I'm just going to start pulling things out. Tensor bandage. Binoculars. Little notepad. In here I got quite a few items. The one problem I find with these kits is the one thing that you need is always at the bottom and you got to take everything out. It's kind of a pain, but I don't see any way around it. So first off I have this small hydration pouch. This holds uh, 20 ounces of water. It's BPA free. I actually found this at Staples. It's got a clip so you can attach it to the outside if you want to. I have this small little pouch I made out of leather. And one thing I always like to carry in all my kits I can get it out is some money you can, hear, you can see here I got some uh, got some change and some cash a 20 two tens and a five it's always good to have some money with you I have a small pry bar. Tape measure. Another thermometer. Compass. Emergency whistle. Magnifying glass. small light, some reflective armbands, if you ever have to walk down the highway and you want to be seen. Watch and compass, 
some hand lotion, polysporin on the go, small deck of playing cards, some sanitary wipes, some soap leaves, Got a small map of the area. Uh, one lighter with wire and elastics and another one with cordage wrapped around it. In this tin, I have more cordage, dental floss, wire, nylon string, some more wire, a bungee cord, electrical tape, some thread, and there's some crazy glue. That's part of my first aid. In this tin, I have some, a little bit of first aid, and this side's for if someone's choking, earplugs, piece of a hacksaw blade, great for cutting through a chain link fence if you had to. Candle, two small pencils, nail clippers, small sharpening stone, paper clips. Stanley screwdriver with different bits, small lockpick set, a hand drill, a glue stick, zip ties, a pen, few different sizes of Allen wrenches, some Q-tips, just a few more little bits on the bottom, same type of stuff. So in this container, I have some flavored iced tea, a whole stack of, some of these are wet naps, some of these are alcohol prep pads, very good to have for first aid. I got two large 4x4 four four sterile gauze pads. hot chocolate. I have some heavy duty tin foil, a rain poncho, and some emergency instructions. Cup of soup. Another cup of soup. Oxo bullion.
some salt packages, a little bit of jam, a couple of more bullion cubes, some foot and or hand warmers. And I have about 14 band-aids in here. On this side I have a mag light with cordage wrapped around it. My Swiss army knife. A large clear plastic bag. In this container I have some a couple of buttons, two needles, some more thread, that is a piece of soap I just cut from a larger piece of soap and two spare batteries this is a Coleman waterproof bag I have one condom to hold water, 10 aqua tabs, some extra medication and painkillers. This is an old earplug container, in case you're wondering. This is a, a sound amplifier. I think it would be a pretty good thing to have in a survival situation. You're supposed to be able to hear conversations up to 900 meters away or something like that. I have some drinking straws. These are small little towels compressed into pucks and when the, you get them wet they'll expand. I got about eight of them in there. And this here looks like an iPod. But it's just a radio. Good thing to have for any weather updates, news. It's mainly what I have it for. I have I have a small modified hatchet perfect for splitting wood you can also use it to chop with but it's mainly just for splitting another lighter this is a small grill it came from a toaster oven it was actually a little bit bigger than this but I cut it off and filed the edges this is really nice to have when you're cooking 
or heating up water in this cup. You just uh, put some rocks around the fire, put the grill on or some logs. I just find it way easier to cook when you have a grill. And you can see it fits perfectly inside the bag. And one more important thing to have for cold weather survival is a folding wood saw. I've used this many times. Cuts wood fairly easily. Anything from really small to maybe five inches at the most, anything bigger than that is pretty hard to cut. Another thing I have is a Coleman headlamp. And last of all, one thing I really wanted in this kit was some shelter. And what I found was a shower curtain liner. You can see it's 70 inches by 72. Clear. Nice, quick, easy shelter. Nothing too fancy, but it would work. I just hope I never have to use it so I don't think I'll ever be able to fold it up again in this package. But it's nice and compact. One thing I really wanted was a quick easy shelter. Oh, and I have one more thing in here I forgot about. This is my small fire kit. This is a tin that came from a, a nail set. In the lid, I have cotton balls stuffed in there. A tea light. These will burn for almost four hours. This is a fire light. It's kind of the same idea as that wet fire. Just lights really easily. I have it wrapped up in tin foil. I have four waterproof matches just for backup. 